Hi everybody, again, another video. I'm either spoiling you or torturing you. You let me know. I just thought, because I had so little time for stitch yesterday, I went on a bit of a cleaning marathon. Just had this urge to clean these things that look like they hadn't been cleaned for years. Um, so all I managed to do last night, and I thought if I put it on the blog and just pictures and don't tell you, then you'll think I'm trying to sell you the same old thing and I'm not. Or just trying to show you some duff old work that's been the same forever and it hasn't. So you might remember that the last time you saw this, I've done the bullion knots and the lemon running stitch, okay? Well, since then, I've added another bumpy flower, so that's finished that row. And I've also, yesterday, French knots down there and another line of running stitch. So what I want to do now is just add a bit of colour to those French knots. So, oh, I forgot my needles. You know, if you do my classes, you'll be used to this. I embroider, I need needles. Who forgets the needles? Me. Won't be a second. I'm not going to turn off because it's too much palaver. I won't be a minute. Right, I'm back. You can bet your wife on it's guaranteed I'll never win the Nobel Prize for organisation. Right, so I'm going to start with lemon. And I'm not going to do them all with you, don't worry. You're not going to have to be forced to sit and listen to me for hours on end. I'm just going to do um, a couple. That's all. I won't make you suffer for too long. I quite like putting these little videos together for my blog anyway. Um, and it is ideal like if you've been busy or you just haven't had time to stitch because the best will in the world, this kind of hand embroidery takes a long time, um, then it's a good way of explaining what you've actually done because quite often um, it doesn't necessarily look a lot different until there's something of more substance added. For example, like a row of French knots in your hand examining a piece of work, you would see that and it would look different and it would, you know, you might think, oh, it looks beautiful or whatever. But having, you know, having said that, like up here, I'm going to do some applique, some flat applique, uh, floral forms, I think. So that would be more noticeable than that row of French knots. But I just didn't have time to do that yesterday. And if you can hear that squeaking, it's not my knees. It's my next door neighbour's door. I think they need to oil it. So... Right. So I'll just do a few yellow French knots and then I'll leave you in peace because it is Sunday morning and everybody deserves a little bit of peace and quiet on a Sunday morning. So I'm just going to dot them in amongst this. Do you want me to pull in? I just get worried that it's going to blur. You probably see better there anyway what I've done on this. There's the first one. It's quite thick this seam because there's broderie on glaze folded over there. And then this cloth that I doodled on is also folded over and they're laid on top of each other. So it is quite thick. So if I say do five yellow, I may not need any pink because the pink running stitch is so close to this. I do five yellow lemon and then um, later on I can put some green in there. But it does make a difference to how it looks. It just kind of lifts it a little bit and it just adds a little bit more to it so that's why I'm doing that so if I bring that to the front of my work and just put my needle in there to continue with that later so there so hopefully you can see that I haven't been slacking I have been working I just my fingers can't work quick enough sometimes um, to get a substantial amount of progress so that even though I'm aware that it's different and I'm aware that I've spent three or four hours on it 
it doesn't necessarily mean that you're aware of that. And like I say, I would hate to think that you thought it's the same old piece, there's nothing different, it's boring, I'm not coming here again. Um, so that was to show you that I have done that and the difference between the seams um, from that one that I showed you the other day to what's been added since then. Okay.